Uh, meanwhile, I want to get to State Street, buying Brown Brothers Harriman Investor Services for $3.5 billion in cash. The acquisition that was announced this morning, it is set to be completed by year-end 2021. Here to discuss the deal is State Street's chairman and CEO, Ronald O'Hanley. Uh, Ron, uh, great to see you. Uh, glad to get your uh, your take on this uh, on this transaction. We were talking earlier, uh, you know, these investor services, this processing businesses that you're in, it's, it's truly about scale. What is it about Brown Brothers uh, division here that, that makes it a fit for you? Mike, it's, it's good to see you, and I think you've articulated it well. Uh, these are technology-driven businesses. It is about scale. Uh, the amount of technology that has to be uh, brought to bear increases every year. What Brown Brothers brings to us is a couple of things. Uh, first, it actually brings a set of technology assets that are quite additive to our own and will help propel our own uh, platform development. Second, it's in very attractive geographies. Uh, in some cases, they overlap with us, but in some cases, they've actually got a stronger position uh, than we do. I, the examples there would be Japan and Latin America, which are high growth, very lucrative markets. Thirdly, it's an extraordinary talent base. Um, you know, these, uh, they're very, very good people. They'll be additive to our management team. So that coupled with the fact that uh, it's a, that there's a consolidation element to this. So it's very, uh, it's very attractive to our shareholders. So we're, we're very pleased about this. Yeah, I'm sure the you know the logic uh, is 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 pretty well understood. Although you know your shares down a little more than two percent, underperforming this morning. Is there a sense that uh, there was a rich price that you did pay for the, you know, the size of uh, of the Brown Brothers business? I, I don't know if it's about price. I mean, uh, again, acquisitions are always a surprise uh, to investors. So I think there's a time that investors need to digest it. But I think once investors understand uh, what's happening here in terms of uh, there's consolidation opportunity, but also an ability to really advance our strategy and help, uh, in effect, help us become the leading player in the market. We will, after this, uh, be the number one ranked custodian. Ron, big picture, a lot of investors assume that um, a lot of your fortunes are going to be based in part on eventually when we get short-term interest rates higher, it's seen as a, as a beneficiary of, uh, of Fed tightening down the road. Obviously, lots of other things matter, too, asset values uh, and such. But uh, what is your take out there uh, in terms of uh, what matters most in the near term for, uh, as a driver of your business besides the kind of steady-as-she-goes uh, you know, consistency of the fee business? Well, if you think about what we do, right, we, we serve investors in all forms, whether they're investing directly or whether they're investing through funds. So it, th this business has a lot of uh, terrific fundamentals behind it. Asset values continue to grow. Investment markets continue to grow. Uh, as long as you believe the economy will grow, typically financial assets grow at a multiple of the economy. So just the core fees will be there. And yes, as you noted, uh, uh, interest rates, if anything, are a, uh, an interesting upside option to all this. We're at all time low on interest rates. So the amount that, uh, that net interest income contributes to this business is at a historic low. As interest rates increase, uh, that of course will increase also. So uh, we're not dependent on it and uh, we've done fine without that. But if you believe that interest rates over time will increase, that's just another benefit to the whole transaction. Ron, it's Morgan, just to shift gears a little bit, but I think it kind of speaks to the broader strategy that you're speaking to as well. I mean, State Street has been uh, really on the forefront in terms of adoption of partnerships and products and services rolled out where cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin is concerned as well. Uh, can you just speak a little bit more to that and, and the opportunity that you see there? Well, Morgan, it, as, as you've just articulated, there really is a digital revolution going on in financial services. We've seen it in payments, and you're going to start to see it in securities, uh, whether it's uh, the deployment of blockchain uh, to help accelerate settlement periods. So there's enormous amounts of technology being invested in the business. Um, our approach has been to both build our own but also to partner with leading players that can help us uh, get a technological edge in a certain area, and also to make it attractive for our clients, right, where they're getting the best uh, in an open architecture way of the world. But uh, you will see rapid deployment here over, um, we believe you'll see rapid deployment over the near future in terms of these kinds of technology tools, and even regulators starting to think about 
is there a way that through the deployment of these tools, we can decrease settlement periods, create more stability in the financial system? So again, uh, great fundamentals behind the business and one in which we'll reward those that are technological leaders.